In this video, I'm going to show you my 500 FPS optimization guide for the Fortnite you can use on your any low-end PC or laptop for boosting your FPS and for getting better performance. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video and with this thing and time, let's dive straight into it. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to optimize our drive for our windows for getting the better performance in the Fortnite. So for that guys, you need to open up your file explorer. Now you need to go for the drive which you install your windows and your Fortnite. So ultimately that is your C drive, so right click here and go straight into the properties. Now go for this tool tab and there you will find out optimize and defragment drive. Click on this optimize button. Now go for your C drive or the drive where you install your windows or Fortnite and click on this optimize. And this will optimize the drive for you. After that you can go for the uh, scheduled optimization, go for the settings, turn on the settings and this will automatically run this optimization after a certain time. So now after that apply the settings and click ok and close out your device optimization so guys now the next step you need to download fortnite 500 fps pack on your pc link will be down in the description open up the link from description and it will take you here onto my this website where you will find out the same exact article about the fortnite so open up that article and download this pack on your pc so once you download this pack now you need to extract this folder on your desktop after that here you will find out fps boost and network tweaks folder Open up FPS Boost folder and inside here you will find out Disable Power Throttling, Windows Config File and NVIDIA Profile Inspector for the optimization and for boosting your FPS. So open up this first file and there you will find out these two registry. So double tap on the Disable Power Throttling and hit Yes and click OK and hit OK again. Now go back, go for the Fortnite Config File and inside here you will find out High NPC Optimized Config, Low NPC Optimized Config and Mad NPC Optimized Config. Now choose it according to your PC build or you can ask me in the comment section. I will suggest you the best config file for your PC. So for example, right now I will go with the Low NPC Optimization. So simply copy this config file from here. Now press Windows R together from your keyboard and type here percentage local app data percentage. Now hit OK. Now you need to find out here Fortnite game folder. Go for it save config windows client and simply paste it here and replace your file destination so after replacing here this file now close out this file explorer now go back into the main directory of our fps boost folder and now go for nvidia profile inspector open up this folder now here is our nvidia profile inspector.exe file so double tap here hit yes and here you will find out this kind of the interface of the nvidia profile inspector this is the global setting for your all the pc of your nvidia and now you need to go for your search bar and search for a fortnite select out here this game and now this uh, settings will load up here on your screen now here is some hidden settings you can change for getting the better performance so in the very first step you need to scroll down and go straight toward anti analyzing and there you will find anti analyzing transparency super sampling go for this drop down and set it on to the double a mode reply mode all once you select out here the settings now scroll down and go for texture filtering quality and in the texture filtering quality here you will find out these two texture filtering like lod bios and texture filtering lod bios ogl go for this option and guys this is the important settings for boosting your fps if you increase this value this will lower your texture quality and improve your fps and if you decrease this value this will increase your graphics or texture quality but reduce your fps because if you have a low-end pc and you want to improve your fps so this is the minimal settings i suggest you to change which is a 0 0.500 go for the next tab and also choose the same exact settings after that now scroll down go for power management mode and set it on the graph for maximum performance now go for shadow cache size and set it on the 4gb go for thread optimization turn on the settings and after that click on the apply button apply all the settings on your nvidia and guys if you want to revert the settings back to the normal so you need to go for this option and that is revert your all the settings back to the normal after that hit apply and save the settings so guys now the next step we will go for our network optimization and network tweaks so open up this folder and inside here you will find out dns jumper for the optimization of your dns so open up the zip file and drag this folder here into this uh, folder now open up this folder for the dns jumper and now you need to launch the dns jumper on your pc double tap here hit yes and now go for fast test dns go for it check mark onto the turbo resolve and click on the start dns test this will start testing all the dns available on your network according to your internet connection and once this testing is complete here you will find out the best dns work for you and give you the lowest results so go for the first and the best dns right click here and click on the apply dns and apply this dns on your pc so once it's done now close out it now go for flush dns 
Click here and this will reset your old the flush DNS cache. After that, now close out DNS jumper from your PC. So guys, now the next step, you need to download Gear Booster on your PC. Link available down in the description. Simply go there and download this tool on your PC. And if you download it from my description link, so you will get 7 days free trial. So simply guys, after installation, open up the software. And here you will find out this kind of interface. So here you will find out your Fortnite and all the other installed game. Simply go for the boost button. And guys, before launching the game, you need to create here account. So go for this icon and guys, log in here your account using your Google or your Facebook ID. So after that here you will find out this kind of interface like you can check it out here i am getting right now the minimal ping in my region that is the 48 i have not experienced that thing before on my region and you can check it out here the 191 percent improvement after using this application now once you set up all the settings now go for launch game option and launch the fortnite using the gear booster next time so guys now in the next step we are going to disable a windows service which is causing fps drops and stutters on our pc in fortnite and all the other games so for that you need to go for your windows search and search for services and open up the services app after that scroll down or simply press s from your keyboard and you will go straight into the f line and there you will find out the fifth main service so right click here go for the properties and you need to disable the service from here i have already disabled so once you disable it then hit apply and click ok so now in the next step we are going to disable the power throttling on our pc and also stop all the background running applications so for that you need to press windows r together from your keyboard this window pop up on your screen now you need to type here gpedit.msc click ok go for computer configuration administrative template system then scroll down and go for power management now go for power throttling settings and there you will find out turn off power throttling so double tap here now simply set this option onto the enable and hit apply and click ok and save the settings now after that go back into the main directory again again open up administrative template now go for windows component go for app privacy then scroll down and there you will find let's app run in the background so you need to double tap here set this option onto the enable go for default for all app and set it on the force denied after that hit apply and click ok and close out your group policy editor so guys now the next step we are going to stop all the startup applications from our pc for having the better performance on our windows so simply right click here on your task manager open up task manager and now you need to go for the startup tab and there you will find out all the application available on your pc now you need to go for the application which you want to stop so like for example i want to uh, stop the idm so go for this option and disable this option from here i have already disabled it so therefore it is showing me the enable now after doing all this stuff now close out your task manager and now you need to one time restart your pc therefore all the changes take effect and after that launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance with the better fps on your pc i hope so you love the video please make sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel and till the next video peace out